it's uh sorry I, we were gonna talk but we're going behind the scenes behind the scenes behind the scenes i was talking about time travel in my novel um we were talking about uh rex's new book um before we went off the air and then i was giving him sort of how time travel works in my vampire novel um but we're I think on this idea of setting up the rules for the time travel and then deciding what role does it play in the story, why is it important, why does it matter, um, is a big piece. We didn't get to this idea on the air, which is what I'd like to share with our patrons, which is get personal. What are the personal stakes for the traveler? What does she or he stand to lose by not being able to control it, if it's unintentional, or gain by being able to do it? Um, and I think this is critical in stories like Outlander, where Claire doesn't know how to get back to the 1940s, but when she has the opportunity to do it, she chooses not to. She chooses to stay where she is because she knows she can't take Jamie with her, right? So she chooses to stay with him. That When we start making choices about whether or not we stay or go, that becomes, I think, the most compelling part of that entire series. Then at some point, she does, in fact, have to go back to the 1940s. She lives a life and she tries to figure out how she can get back to Jamie and she does it the exact same way she did it before. So this idea that there are like portals, there are certain places on the planet where time travel is possible, that's compelling to me as well. Yeah. That it's a physical uh, manifestation, a geological, if you will, manifestation of some kind and people just sort of stumble into it. Well, that's interesting well, to well, me. The point I wanted to get to about your vampire novel is though, is why is time travel so important in that story? Oh, in the vampire novel. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got to be related to the three vampires who sort of rule all of vampire kind are the brides. And... Um, the brides of Dracula. Raven decides he wants to uh, unite all of the vampires under one rule. His rule, of course. Wow. So he yeah, decides your, your he doesn't. Your story's really evolved since that. He, that last... he doesn't want it to be three different lineages that all sort of commingle and get along. He wants to be the king. He wants to be the one in charge. And so he sets up this idea where he's going to go and kind of wipe out the leadership of the other lineages, and wow. unite them all as Ilianic. You need to. Uh... Wow. Okay. I pitched it. I pitched it on Thursday. Oh. At and, Pit Mad. And. Sadly, no. No likes yet, well, but that's okay. That's didn't okay. I was looking up Pitman. It didn't seem like there was many people there. There weren't a lot of agents there, and I wonder if it wasn't um, specific uh, genre, because I saw quite a few like young adult and children's stories, so I'm wondering if some of the agents that were there were like focused on young adult stories. Yeah. Anyhow, um, I'm, we've just been babbling along here, but that's what you get with behind the scenes, right? Uh, if you're writing a time travel story, send it to me. I would love to see it. Um, I'm definitely in that realm of reading as much time travel as I can. Uh, Charlie said, um, I don't know why you do a whole episode on time travel. There aren't that many time travel stories. Yeah. Yes, yes, there are. are. <laughs> there are thousands, thousands, thousands. We get excited about the idea that we can maybe go back and, and correct our mistakes. We get excited about the idea that we can see the future and maybe um, have more optimism when we come back to our current circumstances. There's all kinds of reasons that time travel is exciting to just consider and think about. It must be dangerous or the Chinese government would not have banned it. Absolutely. Thank, thank you for being uh, patrons. Thanks for being part of our show. We appreciate you. Have a great rest of your weekend. Awesome.